All right, so we're going to be on end games on Pooh. This is a retired end game link right here. Um, so we'll try to go through this guy and see what we can do. I think I have a little thing like right here. Okay. They're trying to migrate their core servers, services, and components to a state of the art cluster, which offers cutting edge software and hardware. Okay. Now our movement proves escalation and test within a small active directory environment is configured with the latest operating system and technologies. The goal is to compromise the perimeter host escalate privileges and ultimately compromise the domain while collecting several flags along the way. Now let's go ahead and grab that IP address. Let's see if we can ping it. Don't know if it's even allowed to be pinged. All right, looks like we can ping it. That's good stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and rush in that. Right, this looks like we got um, as SQL point out there and also port 80. So that might be somebody right there, that MSSQL. Let's go and check out that port 80 first. Looks like we have just the regular IS start page. Let's go for Xbox to that guy. Looks like we start running that. See if we get anything off of that. We got uploads like right here. We have an uploads. It's a 301. Don't know if we're actually be able to get to it or not. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff too. Okay, so that is uh I wonder if I want to look at that uploads directory like a little bit more. I wonder if I can get further into it. You know? If I can like, get to like the full path or something. I made a box like that where you couldn't get to the beginning part, but on IIS, just because you like block, let's say, the uploads folder, uh, you still need to block the stuff within uploads or else someone might be able to read it. So um, I might want to look at that. We also have a dev folder, it looks like. Okay, that's also forbidden. I kind of want to look a little bit more in that uploads in that dev area. So I might just stop this and look at those two and then uh, see if we can find anything from there. Let's see if we can get anything. I also don't know what word this reason like right here. Just gonna check out what word this reason. Yeah, this is a newer box and it's end game, so never seen end game box? Well, here we go. Since it's end game box, so we're gonna use a seckless uh, discovery web content uh, raft. Not thinking of medium words. Let's try something like that. See if we get anything with that. We got a lot of stuff going on here. Let's go ahead and do a taxi. Uh, 4443 500. To not look at those things right. So we'll skip over those ones. And also 401. Sorry about that. Just because we're getting so much stuff back. Doesn't look like this went anywhere else, huh? We had that port 80 and that. 1443 and that's it right okay yeah, it's all showing up there <clears throat> if we don't really find anything good in here that's like we want to start looking at uh that big word list Okay. Nothing so far. These boxes are made to take like a little bit of time though, so might just kind of be, you know, checking a couple of the things. Rob, you're gonna see both lowercase and capital because Windows uh, isn't case sensitive, so like Linux is. How Linux is case sensitive, Windows is not. So. We're starting to get to the same words over and over again. So let's go ahead and uh, stop that. Let's try it with big. Um, raft. Is it large? Yeah, large. Large files, lowercase.txt. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter because it's not case sensitive, like I said.
let this guy run. One second. Alright, so something weird that kind of appears is this DS store, because that's usually for Mac. So, okay, so we get it back. Let's go ahead and look at that DS store. I don't know if we can cat that. Yeah, we can. Okay, I mean, kind of. I wonder if we should, like, strings it. Okay. A little bit different. I think we can put these back together. Try grep for user. Nope. Okay, nothing there. Well, I might actually want to do a grep tech guy for username. Let's try grep tech guy. Okay, nothing there. Let's try for pass. Okay, nothing there. All right, so now we got to figure out how do we put this DS store back together, right? Um, how do we exploit a DS store? Okay, pen test DS store at master, DS store exp. I kind of forgot how to do it, so. Looks like there's like a Python file. I remember that. That could do it. Oh, well that's actually looking pretty good. Python DS store. CD in a Python DS store. Okay, this looks like it's the make one. How to search for it? Okay. Exploiting data leaks through a DS store file. Let's see here. Get clone, DS store exp, CD there, pip install requirements. This is Python 2. DS store. Okay, you can tree it, okay. So, the astral crawler, okay, that's Python 3. All right, so we also have a DS store crawler, okay. What if we could just put it at the DS store that we already have? Let's go ahead and try that. We'll try some of that. Okay, that was. Let's go and try and find it. Because that get clone didn't do anything for it. Oh, that was a get clone, that's why. Um, DS store. Okay, there we go. DS Store Crawler. Python tool made to crawl websites with DS Store, with that DS Store, okay. Then the URL. All right, let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's see what we got here. We're going to go to raw there. Grab this guy. Should I have notes on DS Store actually? I do, DS Store, look at that. Oh, awesome notes. I put some awesome notes in there, obviously. <laughs> put none in there. Uh, let's go ahead and do a wget, that guy right there. Python DS Store Crawler.py. And we're just going to go to this guy. That you should be able to just pick up that there's a dot .ds store in there. Right? From what my understanding is of this. Oh, takes attack you. Figures this is only one argument, you know. Okay, it's kind of weird. I figured it would just look like DS store crawler or not. Actually start crawling the website itself. It's fine a lot of stuff. Found a database. I wonder if that actually works like right there. Or if we get, okay. <laughs> Let's say it's fine a lot of stuff. Uh, can I just do a slash dot DS store? Just so like, or is it going to start there? Okay. Let's look for, hey, thank you very much, anonymous gifter. Yeah, it looks like it just crawls a list. DS store. Um, let's see here. 
Oh, there's something like um, there's a Python for DS Store that I found before. Was it Walk? Is that it? DS Store Walk? DS Walk. In which all possible files and directories on web server where a .ds store file can be publicly accessed and downloaded. Okay. DS Store Walk is a Python. Okay, cool. Maybe it's this one. DS Walk, DS Store.py. Okay. Let's see here. I wonder if we need both those files. Like right there. Or if we just need one. Let's go ahead and grab this guy right here. See what he can do. We'll delete the other one because uh, that didn't really do too much for us, it looked like. So let's go ahead and um, move tack RF. That one. We'll do a W get for this one. I wonder if it needs both those files though. DSWalk.py. Yep, okay. So it does. It needs both those files. Okay. So we just go ahead and just grab that DS store. A little bit easier to do a git clone now, but that's okay. Go ahead and we'll grab this. Python dswalk.py. There we go. Tack U. Uh, let's go and grab that. Just like right here. Hopefully this one just looks for, you know, like slash dot ds store. And of course it does not. Why would it do that, right? Is there anything I can just point at to show it that I already have the DS store? I already have it downloaded. Okay. Or is this what it found? Numerous directories based on DS server file. Okay, so this must be what it found. Maybe the other one. Yeah, okay, so the other one also found this. So maybe something with this dev. Not base 64? No. What is that? Like right there. That's a huge thing right there, but we already got it. This is all DS store stuff like right here. Um, let's go ahead and um, where if this is just like a certain format. Okay, nothing like that. It's just weird that it looks like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and head out to, um, I want to try something real quick. Um, crack station. Let's go ahead and head over to crack station real quick. Cause that's a very, looks like MD5. Bridges. That looks like a bridge. No, it looks more like a gate actually. That's a bridge. That's a bridge. That's a bridge. Okay, cool. We did it. Ah, okay. So it's a username, it looks like. What else do we have here? So we got the same ones repeatedly. And then we have these ones over here repeatedly. Okay. Um, let's go and try both of those. Jeez, I already did this. Those aren't more so with all the half of those are mopeds. And then EKS, okay. So it looks like maybe usernames. So those are usernames. Can we do the Then cyclist. Okay. Those are usernames. Could we do this like right here? See if that script still works. 
The script may not work anymore. I have no idea. <clears throat> Let's go and see if uh, chat said anything. No, okay, we're good. Okay, I don't know if that script actually works. Um, so we can do some thinking. I guess Seclus might not have one. We got a short name scanner like right here, GitHub. That's something. Right there, okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. Hopefully it's Python 3. We'll find out. Yep, okay, cool. All right, there we go. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Um, short name is because you know Windows, you can call for like percent sign, system root percent sign, it'll go to that person's area or whatever. This is pretty much what it does. Is it does stuff like that, and it looks for. So there's something in between. This is obviously store, S T O R E, right? That's what that obviously is. This is that thrash file or whatever. So we're trying to find something in here that will give us an idea of where to go from there. Pretty much what we're doing and just start to like enumerate that to be able to figure out can we actually see, you know, where we can actually go or whatever. But where I think we want to look actually is actually in slash dev. And then one of these folders like right here, probably that database folder I think, right? So... I'm thinking this folder, like right here, we want to look for something like that and see if that database, can we actually see what's inside that, um, pretty much the user's file, like wherever it's stored at. But it is working, obviously. You see how it's starting to find more and more because it's saying, hey, this continues on, this continues on, this continues on. So it's continuing on. It's obviously .text, it looks like, right? So we got this poo.co1.txt. So, we know that's poo.co1.txt. Now we just need to figure out pretty much like what that co would be, what comes after that co. So, it's either poo co or it could be C, just like co fuzz or something like that. But what we want to do is we want to use something like, let's see, we want to fluff it, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to use a word list. What's up? I need more caffeine. How you doing? Discovery, we're going to discover web content, right? We should just be able to use something like medium. Let's use the large, who cares? Okay, HTTP. What we want to look at is um, that address, right? To the dev, all the way up to poo. Because we know that poo's there. This could be company, this could be just CO. But we want to look pretty much all the way up to like right there, right? So we got to grab this whole thing. We're going to fuzz db slash poo underscore fuzz because we know there's something else beyond this part, right? So we're going to fuzz that and then we probably want to do like a fuzz dot text or something like that, you know, because we know that it is dot text and nothing's going to come after that. And then we just want to pretty much that'll be it like right there. Uh, tech AC will automatically, instead of stopping it, you just got to start on Zephyr. Oh, awesome. Um, I have noticed one little problem with the Pro Labs is that they seem to crash. <laughs> so, but if you want to, join the Discord. We can do Zephyr together. Oh, that's calling for HTTP twice. I don't know if you noticed that or not. Probably because I'm calling for HTTP twice because I'm an asshole. All right. I'm like, hmm. Okay, cool. There we go. Correct. Correct. Same exact. Yep. 
say that concept is that. But we don't. But we know there's something else there, just because that little uh, was that tilde or whatever. We know. So we know there's something else behind that. Might be company. Could be just be co. Could be connection. That looks pretty good, right? So let's go ahead and try that. Let's go ahead and try to go to connection. And maybe I could see that whole thing like that, right? Underscore connection. Dot text. And we do. Awesome. Okay, cool. So we get our first flag also. And we have a user password. And we also have a user ID, which is external user. So let's go ahead and grab this like right here. And let's go ahead and see if that gets us into the MSSQL. So let's go ahead and try MSSQL client. Um, external user, right? It was. At 10.13.38.11. Let's go and try that. All right, cool. We're in. All right, awesome. Can we actually enable XP command shell? Okay, so we don't have the permissions. Configuration option does not exist or maybe in advanced option. Okay, you just not have permission to form that. Okay, so we don't have permission to form this to run reconfigure statement. So we pretty much, we can't run reconfigure. It wouldn't auto-complete the word connection for us, though. It wouldn't do that because it doesn't know where to go. It'll just go to co.txt. That's why we need to find. That's why we need to fuff it first. <clears throat> if we were to do that, then we were just go to co, and then we just said like that, right? It's not going to go anywhere. Co.txt, not going to go anywhere. So that's why we need to figure out what that is first. Okay. So now we're in at least the database, right? So now what we can start to do is we can start to break down this database maybe and see if we can, um, let's see here. Let's try like enum users. Okay, so we do have an SA user, database owner, okay. We have the external user, which we already know their password, right? So we're good on that. Okay, cool. All right. Um, let's try to maybe um, look at like link servers or some of that, if there's anything else like that in here. Use link, or sh it should be show link, right? There should be one like that, right? Enum logins, enum users, enum links. There we go. Okay, sounds good. Okay. So we have this poo public look right here. All right, that's good stuff. So we do have another server here, right? So we do have poo public there. All right. Um, we could try to see if we can execute something on poo public, right? So we could try to, here, let's try some of this. We could try to execute, um, on the, we'll say, select, um, server name, right? And that server name. And then we'll do that for poo public. That should be like that, right? Whenever we do this. Compatibility, poo public, or poo config. We'll try poo public. Try both of these. I think I'm actually in poo public right now. Okay, so we do get compatibility poo public. Okay. That's not really what I want, though. So that's external user. So we do get back to poo config, so I think we are getting it. What user do you personate? That is one path, but nobody in here can I impersonate. We can try to impersonate, but ready? We try to use like a um, execute as user or execute as login. Uh, SA. Nope. Cannot execute database principle because principle SA does not exist, even though SA is on here. And the only one that we have is external user, and that's already me. So, we already did an unum impersonate. So, we can run commands on this other server, which is good for us, right? If we can run commands on that other server, then what we should have to be able to do is run commands from one server 
to another server. We should be able to do something like that. Okay. So. That won't work either. If you can't run commands on it then, then it's not going to work with that attack M because that's exactly what that attack M is trying to do. It's trying to run commands. So that won't work either. Um, execute. Let me see here. Select. We want to execute, execute, right? So we want to do more something like execute, execute, and then we got to do that again pretty much because we're running two executes. Okay, so That's username, right? I believe it's S username. S user. It should be S user name. S username. So what we're attempting to do is run commands on pool config to then run commands back to my server at pool public. That's what we're going to attempt to do, pretty much. So if we can get that to work, then we are golden. Is it like that? Like right there? I think that should be it. And then we should have to, no, it's definitely going to be like that because that wants to be in there. Like that, there we go. No, it is not enabled. <laughs> or else I wouldn't be running from one server into another. <laughs> um, on this other server, it's enabled because we definitely just, we can run commands on it. So we just ran an execute command on it. So we executed a select server name and that worked. So we can run execute commands on it. So now we know that we should be able to talk from that server, hopefully into our server, which is going to be right here. But ours is actually poo public, right? Okay, so we're coming back to Poo Public, right? And then we have to tell it how to get to Poo Public, right? And we actually want it because we actually want to end this statement like right here. We want to end that, boom, like that, because this guy like right here should be ended like right there. And then from there, I don't think I actually want to do that little thing yet, because I think I actually want to do something like um, um, at Poo Fig at this. I think it wants to be something like that, I think. Let's go ahead and try that. Okay. Got an error. Thank you very much. Where's the error at? It does it has no idea. So that's super helpful. Okay. Oh, you know what? There's an error. It's right here. I never ended that guy like right there. I ended those two, those two, never ended that one like right there, did I? So, it actually should be right there, I think. There. Okay, cool. So, we are SA. All right. So, now, pretty much what we can do is we can run commands from pool config, which is on the internal network as far as we know to poo public, which is what I have already reached, which is on the external network. So that's what we're doing like right here. So now we want to do is we just want to make a user probably um, because we're running as SA, so we can make our own user, thus allowing us to come in and just run commands, right? And we can have that user be a, you know, um, higher end user, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and press up, okay? So we are going to execute 
uh, create login, right? Let's go ahead and do that. Create login carrot, I think it should be right. Um, and then we just need to give them a password, right? So we'll say, now we may have to foul the um, Active Directory little things there, right? So we're going to have to do something like Okay, see these double ones are already going double. Okay, so that should work like right there. Um, and then we want to actually get rid of these two. Leave it like that. Let's go and try that like right there. Okay, we don't get an error back, so that's good, right? So if we don't get an error back, let's just continue on. And we're going to try to say that thing, right? And we're just going to try and give it a server role now, right? So we can go ahead and get rid of all this. Um, execute and we want to now give it a server role that's going to allow us to be like the SA right so we're going to say execute execute um, SP add server role is that what it is SP add role member is that what it is SP add role member That was server. I don't think that's exactly what it is. I think it's add server role member. Or try server role member. Add role member, add server, add server role member. There we go. SP add server role member. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we want SP add server role member, right? So we could add ourselves into there. And then we're just going to give it our little one, two, three, four, carrot, one, two, three, four, right? So we're going to add carrot and we want to make him a sysadmin, right? Whoop, I hit insert by accident. Okay, or we could just, that's really annoying. There we go. Okay. Um, and then we could do as server admin i believe i don't know if it's going to be server admin like that or would it be what will it be as sysadmin there we go or we could could do server admin we'll do sysadmin as sysadmin as sysadmin okay so now we're adding him as sysadmin and that should really be it like right there ah Okay, what's wrong with that as? Like right there. Oh, I don't think it's an as. That's why it's a comma, isn't it? It's a freaking... It's a comma. Okay, so we don't get a problem again. NXC, MSSQL. Um, and then we'll put in the IP address. Let's go and see if this guy can log in now. We'll see if he gets a pawn too. Let's see what happens here. I don't know why it's running against three targets, but okay. <laughs> so what we just did like right there was we utilized poo config to talk back to poo public to make a new user. That's what we just did. And we're just going to try to log in as them. But the like windows off. Okay, nope, it does work. Okay, cool. So we'll go ahead and we'll stop this over here. Exit out of here. And let's go ahead and try a quick um execute. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> execute uh or actually we'll do XP. Command shell, see if it actually works. Who am I? Okay, let's go ahead and do a uh, enable XP command shell. Or we could just enable it manually. 
Oh, configuration show advanced options change from zero to one. Run the configuration statement to install. Attempt to enable detected database administrators will be notified. The transaction under the trigger. Okay, let's go ahead and try this. Let's go ahead and try to do it manually then. We'll do a quick um, was it, uh, databases, MSSQL, XP command shell. Let's go ahead and try this like right here. Okay, so we can actually run on SP command shell, right? We're making stuff readable. <laughs> yeah, the syntax for it is it's complete trash. Um, okay, cool. So now we can now read the database, right? So let's go ahead and continue on here. Now we can actually like do stuff in the database. Let's go ahead and actually like, you know, look at the uh, master sys database or whatever. So I believe I have it in here. I don't even know if I even have it. On how to actually read stuff. It's XP directory. Select star from master DBO system. Okay. Master. Of course, I didn't actually have this command easily. Freaking copy pasteable, huh? From master.dbo.sys databases. Okay, well, we, got, we got flag. Okay, cool. So we got another flag. So let's go ahead and grab that flag like right there. But now we need to be able to read the flag, which is another problem. We can say select star from, I think it's flag, uh, .dbo.flag, right? Because that's going to be a database. DBO, yeah, flag dat MDF C program. Um, actually, no, because we gotta look at the tables first, don't we? Because I don't know what the hell the table name is, which is another select. I believe it's it's so annoying these freaking commands. All right, cool. SP tables. That's an easy command, right? Easy enough. Okay, so we're looking for flag, right? I'm going to go with that should be in the Fs. <laughs> Let's see here. Is there a flag in here? I don't know if I'm in the right place to even look at that table, though, also. That's another problem. Good job, MSSQL. Hey, if you learn how to use MSSQL, one good thing is you will always have a job because nobody else is ever going to care to use it, so... Object. So that's one thing. Okay, so now we need to really select grab for flag in this. <laughs> we're in the uh, <laughs> we're in the actual thing itself. Table schema. Okay, select table name, table schema. Um, and I think we want it from flag dot information. Is it just information schema or information dot schema? Oh, there's easier ways. We'll just do this like right here. Ah, maybe it's not going to be easier. Easier. Oh, I don't think I want to comment after that. That's why. There we go. There, okay. So it is flag. So it's just going to be flag.dbo.flag. There you go. Okay, so there's our flag, our second flag like right there, right? Cool. <laughs> All right, awesome. So now, all we need to do is we can run XP commands now. We've already found there's a flag on there, right? Um, now we just need to try to get a callback from this guy, right? So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and run something like um, XP command shell um, make directory C temp we do that make directories wrong what no it shouldn't need a slash slash this out of here see Um, okay, so we got our XP. I think that XP command shell, it just doesn't like that quotation marks at all. Um, okay, so XP command shell, let's go ahead and try to grab maybe netcat or something like that, right? We'll try to do like a PowerShell text C.
Let's go ahead and see if it grabs it from up here. Okay, so it didn't like that, like right there. That's okay. Oh, uh, you know what else, though? Oh, well, because what I tell you guys to do all the time, I actually didn't do. Let's try to use basic parsing first off. And also, let's do a C temp. Yeah, we can. We can. I don't really like PowerShell reverse shells very much. I feel like they uh, always jack something up. Are we already running in PowerShell? How about that? There's another question. Nope. Well, we can do other stuff, right? Because we know we're running in a um, command prompt now, right? So there's other things we can do. So that's okay. We just use like cert util. So let's go ahead and do that like, real quick. Um, Active Directory to Windows. Downloading through command prompt, right? Download from command prompt. So we can always try some of this, right? Go and try that. Error occurred during the next few call to create process failed with error code five. Okay. Can we run like who am I again? We can, okay. Hmm. Okay. So it looks like it doesn't want to do anything. It looks like it doesn't really want to download a file, huh? Okay. That's very strange. Okay. Let's go ahead and try to read. No, I think I know what's wrong here. I think we might have to run a script. So we should be able to see, we should be able to type web config, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I don't know what to do. We are going to upload a script to this guy. So pretty much this one's going to be a little bit pain in the ass also. But we can execute. And within MSSQL, you can execute an external script. All right. Uh, it's very weird, but you can do an SP execute. Um, I really wish tab was in this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, external script. Okay. And then from there, we can give it a language to execute that script as, right? Say uh, language. Let me go ahead and actually look up the actual command for this too. Because that's going to be a pain. at language equals n language okay so so I have to do at language equals equals n then we can say something like python right so pretty much we can execute python from it's from ms sql why they have this I don't know just seems like a really good way to get hacked but whatever uh, then we have to do an add a script, right? Yep, add script. Script equals. Okay, now we want to do a script in here, right? And that script is just going to be something like really easy, like, I don't know, import OS, right? Um, and then from here, once we import that OS, we can do a OS.system, and we can say something like, um, D-I-R-C-T-C, right? Or we could do like a who am I or something like that, right? Let's try like a who am I. Just to make sure it actually works. Okay, incorrect syntax near language. I don't, oh, you wonder why? Because it's got to be, yeah, equals N, just like that script over there. There we go. Okay, incorrect syntax near language. Bullshit. Did I spell language wrong? 
L-A-N-G-U-A-G-E. You ever look at a word and think that's spelled wrong just because it looks funny? <laughs> L-A-N-G-U-A-G-E. Okay, that all looks good. SQSP external script, right? Add language. Do I have to make do I have to make like the Python capital? Do I have to do this? Or some something dumb like that? No. Unclosed quotation mark at the character string import. Oh, is there? That's a problem too, huh? Okay, now it's just an incorrect language. Okay. What are you talking about? L A N Yeah, that's how you spell language. Okay. We're gonna try XU Oh, external script. That's why. Okay, there we go. Okay. We're not getting an error anymore, so that's good, right? I don't know if we're actually getting output or not. I have no idea. It will be sweet if we do. I also know that I jacked it up. Because we should have something like this, I believe, right? Yeah, I have no idea if this is actually going to run or not. Okay, cool. So now what we should be able to do, now we have that, is type. Type C I net pub www root web dot config. Because this should give passwords inside of it. Administrator, everybody wants to work at poo. There we go. Okay, cool. So we have credentials now. Do those credentials actually work? Let's see here. We can't, we have to actually get into it first, huh? Is there a login somewhere in that page? Maybe, okay. Was, was there like an admin? Yeah, there was an admin section, wasn't there? Okay, cool. All right, I can go back to yesterday because I was in person. Okay, we get another flag, but we're not really getting anywhere. Well, we could always just call for a um, what was it? A, a reverse shell, right? So we could try something like that to call for like a reverse shell or something. Let's go and try that, like right there. Yeah, point down reverse shell or download netcat onto there now, right? Or something like that. We can always do our W get now. We don't need that site. Trust me. There you go. Um, Netcat usually doesn't get caught by Windows Defender. That's really weird. But usually Netcat finds it just to be perfectly safe. Let's we'll see if this works. We'll see if it downloads. That's what the real thing is. That's what the real thing would be is bullet download. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's kind of my thought because can I do something like this? I think we're just going to have to use cert util. Port OS, OS that system. I think we just got to use cert util. Let's go and try to use cert util. And we'll see if it, um, because it hasn't even tried to download yet, right? So at least got to let it try to download before it can say, oh, no, if it's getting caught or whatever else, right? Whoops, see, Daisy, that didn't work now, did it? That didn't work out at all for me. Where's my last command at? 
all this errors in there now are not helping out at all. Here we go. What well, system? Hop back over to here. Really hoping that admin area will give us a way in, but I guess not. Why would it, right? That would have been sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and see if that will at least download something, right? Nope, it does not want to download stuff. It really just doesn't want to download anything, huh? Okay, let's go ahead and see what's inside of here. See, there's something that we're missing here. Okay, so it's just, I think we killed it. Okay, so I think we just killed it. I think that's all we did. Let's go ahead and try to do this again up here. I don't think this should do anything, but let's go ahead and try it. Yep. So now it's just not working anymore. <laughs> Even though we did this not too long ago. Do I have to actually put quotation marks around this though? Okay, we have to actually just put, we did not kill it. Okay, good. We just have to actually put quotation marks around it. That's all. There we go. Uh, let's try that. Express edition will continue to be enforced. I don't know what that means. Can we try that again? <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> you know, like, okay, let's go and try. There's not going to be anything in there. Let's see what we got here. So we have 445, which wasn't shown. We have um, 5985. So we do have WinRM, which wasn't also shown. Might be able to actually put those out toward the internet. I wonder if I could just do a WinRM quick config. Nope. It really does not like some of those things, huh? Okay. Why will remote desktop be open in one second? Okay, so 5985 is open, right? And it's 100% listening. Okay. Um... Okay. Do I need dead beef? What do I do do for the tax six? I think I need a dead beef like right here. There we go. Okay, cool. So we're using the IPv6 address. That's all we're doing like right there. So now what we need to do is we should have to put into um, our Etsy host that dead beef, right? And we need to call it something also, right? So we could just say like um, uh, sudo nano Etsy host. What was this stuff up here called? Well, we can just call it poo if we want to. It doesn't really matter what we call it. But we can go ahead and take this like right here. Let's put it in our IPv6 and just call it poo. You see, I put out hack the box some of that. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that. Or we could actually look at the host name or whatever too, huh? Just so we don't mess stuff up. Uh, I guess we can't. Okay, whatever. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and we need to win our RAM because you can't win our RAM into a. The reason we're putting that in Etsy host because you can't win our RAM in IPv6. And the only way to be able to do that 
is to be able to um is to be able to name it within your Etsy host and they call that name. Sorry, I just had like a uh, I'm having a breakthrough here. Oh, I have not checked chat in a while. Hello, Edamon. How you doing? All right, we're still good. Okay, there's that. Okay, good. We're good. Okay, so let's go ahead and evil win RM. But attack I is actually going to be that. Um, you would still have to use the IPv6 address because it's only working for IPv6. But no, you would have to use the IPv6 address still. And we could always test it like, real quick to see if that actually works or not. I don't think I've really tried it. Let's see what it does if we go to IPv6 address here and not exec. It doesn't like to see it doesn't seem to like that very much. And does it? Well Winner RM did. We can always try with Winner RM just to make sure. Okay, so yes you can. Hundred percent lavender. It's a good point. I don't know. I was like, I never really tried that before. That's a good point. It's a great question. So yes, we can. We can also use that exec for it too. So there we go. I'll use crap map exec. Once it went away, I immediately stopped using it. I'm still seeing posts. People are like, crap map exec is going away. I'm like, yeah, that was like a few months ago, bro. That's been away. All right. So now we got there, right? So now who am I slash all? Okay, cool. So we are actually an administrator. Um... And it is not blocked, so we are straight up administrator. So we should technically be able to do something like secrets dump or something like that right now. So um, the secrets dump, though, it's going to be kind of a pain because we can't log in anywhere on this thing, huh? So every single thing we do now is going to have to be through this guy like right here, isn't it? So... Huh... Whoops. That was wrong. Whatever. There we go. Alright, so before we go too deep into this, I think I'm going to take like a quick break. Um, I do want to try to run like a quick sharp pound though on it. So let's go ahead and do a... Pretty sure... No, I don't have sharp pound. Okay, that's weird. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab sharp pound like real quick. Because we won't be able to run Bloodhound. Well, we won't be able to run Bloodhound also. Because everything's going through IPv6. There's nothing actually pointed outside of this thing. We could try to run, you know, we could try to get um, the Golo on here and look at the other IP address that we found. Right? So we could always look at the Golo and get a reverse shell going from here, go inside that network right there, see if we find anything else. Right? But. I don't know if that's actually going to work because we don't have any way to get... I mean, we, we just don't have any way to get into that other network right now. We can obviously figure it out. Okay. Just trying to think of how we're going to get everything onto here. Okay, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and grab Sharp Pike real quick. How long ago did that come out? Okay, released this month. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and grab the sharp pound. Could have swore I had this. No, it's not a real address. That's fake address. That's going into their internal network. So there's a couple of machines on this guy, right? So if we look at it like right over here. It's called machine that is Poo DC and Poo compatibility. So I think we're on compatibility right now. We just gotta get a DC, that's all. So downloads that so like right here. We'll unzip that. 
then we can go ahead and try this char pound over here. So we we'll go ahead and uh, w get. Or we can always use upload too, but I just find w get to be easier. Whoops. Now we'll see. We'll see if AMS size you go best with us or not. We'll see here in a second. I need to connect to the remote server. So it can't call back to me. That's what the problem is. Okay, we can try to upload. Try that. Well, let's say do it if it's not actually in the directory that you're in currently, just so you know. If you need to start up at the directory you're in. Okay, well, that loads up. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take a quick five minute break here. So I'll be right back. Dragging off four inches of snow day. Where do you live, Florida? <laughs> All right. So we now have sharp out up here, right? So let's go ahead and get that running, right? Isn't it like um, all? Do I have to do something like that afterwards? Yeah, that looks great. Okay, that's what we got here. <laughs> Thank you. Collection message group, local admin, ACL, blah, 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 search services. Can we just do like that? No, I guess not. Um... Use all collection methods. Is, did this used to be like an all? What is that crap? Ah, this could be a problem too. Yeah, that's also. No, tax C is for um, PowerShell. Uh, I don't think it doesn't work with this one. That's going to be another problem like right there. Okay. That's okay. I think we can get around that. Yeah, that's invoke Bloodhound. Um, I think we can get around this, actually. So I think what we can do, because remember, we can talk to the internal server, right? We can do that, right? So what we can do is we can try to upload it, maybe, into the internal server. Maybe I'll do something like that. So... Let's Oh, that's gonna be freaking miserable. Especially since I didn't write any of that down, but it's sitting right there. Let's go. Okay. So if I do that, and if I do that again. Okay, there's that, right? Okay. No, we won't be able to do it remotely using Bloodhound because we can't talk back to this guy. We might be able to upload, let's try it. Upload. Try to throw asia.exe down here and see if we can create a tunnel. If we can create a tunnel, then yes. Maybe able to. But we're still just the local administrator. We still don't have, like... <laughs> we don't have... Okay. I don't think it's going to work. I think we have to do it up here. How the hell are we going to do this? How? Okay, we can write a... We can... We can talk to our server, right? And we can run Python scripts on the server that we're currently on, right? Can we... 
we just download? I wonder if we could just download. We won't be able to do it remotely either because this is the local account. That's going to be another problem. This administrator account is local. So we'll try. We can't do an IEX.WR also. And we can't put... Oh, I guess I am administrator, so I could always do a... What is it? Get... God damn it. What is it? Preference. Disable real-time monitoring, right? To true. Is that what it is? I think that's the thing. Um, set MP preference. I said get, didn't I? Okay, so that's now disabled. So, okay, good. So that's now disabled, okay. Okay, can't do it in there, okay. Um, now let's go ahead and let's see if we can't put Mimikath onto here. Make sure that's right first. Don't I have Mimikats? I still have the regular Mimikat. Sorry, it's a new machine. How long ago was this? That was updated 40 years ago. I feel like that's not it. Yeah, that's 100% not it. There we go. That was updated five days ago. I give a shit. Nor the risk. You know what I'm saying? These people, you know? Maybe catch trunk. What is that? I just want Mimi Cat's. That was Mimi Cat's trunk. It's like a new version of Mimi Cat's or something. Is it really? Is it a good binary though? Because I know there's a crappy one that doesn't work for me because I, I, mean, I could always just use the PowerShell, but. Okay, we'll try this. Let's see if this is a good one. And even when RM does also does like Mimi Cats, but I've made a video before on how to run it. So we'll see if I can do it again. If I remember. Then we just, I think we just pass the command. Like we just do something like LSA dump. LSA slash patch. I don't remember if we have to type in command or not. I know we have to type in exit afterwards. So we'll try that first. Okay, cool. There we go. Okay, so we have poop public 18. So we're all poop public. I'm looking for like an internal one. Let's see if we can get something like that. All those guys are on here. Yep. Okay. I'll say dump. Um, oh man. Okay. 
Was it slash full? Yeah. Compatibilities of machine that we're currently on. I think we can do it like that, like right there. <clears throat> Foo public still. Yeah, we're not going to get any domain stuff in here. Let's try like wind peas or something like that but i highly doubt it's gonna work on this machine i know we're gonna get anything I mean, we're gonna get a lot of stuff but i doubt we're gonna get anything actually good turn out that poo compatibility poo config poo public Okay. All right, nothing in there. But we did get agent, right? We did get that agent. Yeah, okay, let's go and try a quick. Um, So that's going to be zero slash 24 according to the subnet mask, like right there. Okay, let's go ahead and try. I don't know if it's going to call back to me. That's the next problem. That's going to be another problem right there because it's not able to call back to me on anything else. But I'm wondering if we just did that. I'm going to see if it's going to call back or not. Yep. So it can't call back to us. <sighs> okay. All right. That's good. We can still figure this out. 100% still figure this out. Like right here. We need to somehow pretty much run commands on the other server, right? I think. Whoops. Oh, crap. I want to be carrot, huh? All right, now we want to enable XP command show again. And we want to run commands. I wonder if we can just quickly do a... We need to get everything onto this machine like right here. I'm going to try something like this. See if we can curb roast anybody. Yeah, 
Now we'll see what happens here. XP command shell, PowerShell attack C, right? So we have to do some of that, okay? And then we're going to want to do a um, something like import module. I just tried to hit tab like that was actually going to work. Um, slash invoke kerberos.ps1. All right, try something like that like right there. See if we can invoke kerberos. And then we just want to run it, right? So we're just going to do a quick invoke kerberos. Invoke kerberos. I don't actually know if I need another one of those little cool like little things like right there. Yeah, okay, that didn't like that at all, no, did it? Turn rainbow cover, didn't think so, okay. Access denied to import a module, really? Okay, what about something like import module? What about like period and that? Yeah, that ain't gonna work either. Why not though? Pool public. Host names compatibility. Is it because I can't actually look in here? Is that why? I put a spot that I couldn't look. Yeah, okay, I put it in a spot cat look, that's all. Okay, let's just go ahead and um, copy invoke ps one to C tap. There. Hopefully that's all it is. C temp. Try something like this. It's taking longer. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad, but it is taking longer. Now I'm wondering if we need to actually run that on the other machine, though. That's that's like where it's going to become a problem. If we need to run that on the other machine. All right, it's doing something here. Definitely doing something. <sighs> okay, so we got some, okay, so we got somewhere. Wow. Okay. Um, now what we need to do is actually just bring it out of here. And now what we need to do is just clean this up. And we should. So we got, we had Poo Admin down here, didn't we? Cyber Audit. And we got Poo Admin down here also, huh? So we got Cyber Audit, Internet Poo, KRB5, TGS, cool. Okay, Cyber Audit actually, or Poo Admin mean, actually worked. We have HR, People Soft. So if we have that, I wonder if we can also get um, the other stuff to work too. Let's go ahead and copy all this first before I lose it all. Then we'll clean it up over here. So we'll do a quick bloop. And then we'll uh, go ahead and we'll sublime um, krb.txt. Because that's not going to be confusing if I do do a KRB5 or anything like that. That won't be confusing at all, right? <laughs> However, we can make it more confusing. Okay, let's go ahead and clean this whole thing up. Okay, that's the actual hash like right there. Let's just go ahead and shift all. All the way up to the top there. Okay, stop. Home. Whoopsie daisy. And whoopsie daisy. Okay, that's not going to work. Okay, I'm just gonna exit out of there. Never mind, I don't want to destroy this thing. We'll delete that. Delete.
Okay. We're just gonna have to do something like this, like right here. We're just gonna have to go down all the way down to whatever line. Uh, what we got here? 141. Let's go ahead and delete all that. There we go. And we can hit delete, 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 delete. And it's actually deleting the actual file itself, so I can't do that either. As you can see, it's actually deleting from over here too. Ah, fucking shit back. Delete. There's all that. Just gotta do is just. There we go. Delete. Now I should be able to hit delete. And it should, okay, there's an 8 like right there and an E over there. Okay, that looks, looks pretty good like right there. Good enough. I can fix that up top there. Okay, there's a 5 down there. Okay, so that 5 did go away, so that was a 5. And let's see what we got down here. All right, I guess we can go try to crack that, right? If it actually works. Let's try it with John first. John seems to not care as much. Format is going to be here, RB5. Attack TGS. Carry 5 TGS. Yep, John does care, and he says, hey, this looks like ass. So that's not good now, is it? Whew, okay. Hey, that's what was killing it, like right there. All the spaces and everything. Yep, it says this is in trash, like right here. Whatever you got going on here. Oh, probably because it's also KRB. Never mind. Whoopsie daisy. So there's a space on the first line. Where do you see that? There's a... Shouldn't be any space here. I'm not seeing any space. Oh, right here. You are correct. 100%. Thank you very much. Boom. Is that the same space up top? Oh, okay, that looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that now. Let's see if that works. But the other one still should have actually seen it. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and try this again. We're going to say tech output um, hashcat. Let's try some of that. We'll try to make it real, 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 real small so I can do it. <laughs> Put it all there. Let's try something like that, like right there, I guess. And from here, we'll see if we can actually crack those, if we can. Um, and if we can, that will be cool, right? And what we should also be able to do now, too, is actually copy uh, sharp hound right to C temp and maybe run that from over here too. This MSSQL over here may be able to. I guess we'll find out. Uh, what was that? Oh, there's nothing in here anymore. Why not? But then the C temple try to run sharp hound also. Now if we can get those two things, then we should be pretty golden like right there. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Well, not yet. I know it's super small up there. I can't see it either. Don't worry. 
Um, so we'll do an MSSQL client again. Boom. Yep. We'll get in there. What? Because I'm already logged on. Is that why? It's saying like, hey, like you can't log on twice. Is that the right IP address? No. Or maybe it's because it's the wrong damn IP address. Am I allowed to log in twice with the same username? Hey, Will, thanks a lot for the, uh, or Wiss, thanks a lot for the uh, subscribe subscription there. Thank you very much. This guy's taking his time, huh? Well, we do know, I mean, it is working. And we can't log into MSSQL client, looks like, twice with the same credentials. Oh, well, that's the default gateway anyways. That's not going to work. So it is die 11. I was correct. Yeah. So we can't do that. I wonder if user carrot still exists. I forgot what the hell the other user's name was. Way the hell up here. It's going to be this one, like right here. There we go. Oh, awesome. How many points uh, do you believe you got? Okay, there's that. Now let's go ahead and grab a little thing right where I uh, create a new user. I'll just create another user. As long as you know you got 70, that's all that matters. Congratulations. Haven't heard of too many people failing to do the report, so... I'm going to tell you congratulations. Damn it, I don't want to do that like right there. I want to do create login. We're going to say carrot one. Same password. There we go. And then we're going to make him a server admin again. So I'm just grabbing the, uh, what we used before. That's all. And it's saying there's a syntax error for some reason. Okay, let's go ahead and try this one more time. I'm going to copy this whole thing. And we're just going to say care of one this time. This is pretty much what we typed in before, but this looks actually not like what we typed in before now, does it? It's got way more crap in it. What the hell is all that other crap? We 100% did not type in this. We ended it like right here, right? We didn't type in all this external user crap. We, I don't know what all that stuff is like right there. I think we're like right there. There we go. Okay, cool. So now we now have two logins, right? Let's go and see what we got down here. Still nothing. I wonder if it actually um like broke or something with that user. You know? Okay, so we're in here like that. Let's go and grab that uh, XP command shell again. Okay. Awesome. Um, XP command shell. Who am I? Okay, cool. It does work. And then we'll go ahead. We'll do a uh, we'll do a quick um, dir and c temp. File not found. Did it reset? Why is it saying one file? Where's it at? Okay. Did it reset or something? Doesn't look like it. We still connected? Looks like it. Okay. Um, we'll do a partial attack C. W get um, attack use base parking. Wait, we actually want to upload, right? Let's upload that. But I ever copy it over there? That shard found?
Do I have to do like that? I shouldn't have to do it like that. Gotta figure that out. Okay. Um What in the hell? I can. Why is it saying temp temp? Why is there just another temp? That's not a directory. What the fuck is that? Like, what is this? Like, right here. That looks like it's freaking... I want to do this. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, uh, Windows, it doesn't care. Windows doesn't care about, uh, capitalization and stuff like that. There we go. Okay, cool. So, for some reason, that temp, for some reason, like, renamed it temp. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do XP command shell. Um, C sharp pound dot exe. Uh, that should be it. Not getting any errors that I can tell so far. Still no errors. Still having problems up here though. Let's go ahead and stop that. Let's try that again. Which that file doesn't even exist anymore in that documents folder, does it? Yeah, that file doesn't exist anymore. So I'm thinking the lab like did something. I don't know what it did, but it did something. So we need to upload. Yep, that. Invoke Kerberos again. And we'll just go to C drive, invoke Kerberos like that. I'll put Hashcat, and we'll go ahead and make that small again so we can actually see it. Yeah, something to clean up or some of that. That's what it seems like, huh? DIR. Okay, cool. So we got Invo Kerberos like right there. That's running up there. I really wish it would have said something. Um, I don't know if Sharpon is actually still getting stuff or not. I have no idea. I don't know if it ever even decided to work. But we're going to leave it like that and see if anything happens. Um, while that's actually running, I'm going to go ahead and take a break or else I'm going to sit here and keep trying to mess with it. And that's not actually going to work. Uh, but I might actually... Didn't we already try to run out here, though? Yeah, we had the LDAP problem, huh? Yep, 100% had the LDAP problem. Uh, can we run Invoke Kerberos down here, though? Yeah, we had an LDAP problem over there, but... Okay, what do we got here? Is it the same LDAP problem? Looks like it, huh? XPath C1632 domain.json is denied. Alright, it looks like it tried a little bit harder, huh? Let's look at the C drive. I don't know where it actually save it at, though. That's another problem. I don't know where it's going to save it at, even if it did get anything. I don't know where it's actually going to save it. Okay, yeah, because he's not a domain user, huh? Um, okay. So now we just got to try to figure out... Is there a certain place that, that thing would actually save that file? I figured it would do it on C drive. 
I'm wondering if it would do it like in Poo Config or Poo Public or something like that. What? It's actually it's right there. Okay, definitely not a desktop, a lot of documents. Not in documents, a lot of downloads. Well poo config. Also, not gonna stay up too much longer because I do have to work tomorrow. All right. Um, well, I have no idea where the hell it saved it at. Can we do like an out file for sharpon.exe? Collection methods all. Okay, so you can actually do collection methods all zip file. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and try that like right there. Zip file, and we're just going to say C um, output or sharp dot zip. We'll say something like that. There we go. We can also look for zip files over here. And this guy still has yet to do anything over here. Did not take this long last time. We were able to get something, but that's not going to work for us like right here. Now, is it? Or it didn't work. How about that? That ain't gonna work either. Okay, just going to try that. Yeah, it has no idea, huh? Crap. Thirteen one zero zero. Yep, no hash is loaded. So it can't it can't figure it out like right there. And invoke Kerberos is down here and see invoke Kerberos PS one. So that should work like right there. And now it's not even taking it. It's not even trying anymore, is it? Oh, now we're just not even getting... Did it finally reset? No, it's still sitting there.
Anybody know what time it is like right now? Did it actually reset the machine now? If so, it's, uh, it's bedtime. Nope, okay. Okay, I don't know what's going on up here. Let's go ahead and exit out of there. Get back into it. Okay, run those commands again. Same commands we've already ran before. Oh, this is supposedly done. CD and C. And there is no .zip file in there. Golly. This is making my life extremely freaking difficult. This shit just don't work. <laughs> so Bloodhound doesn't work. Invoke Kerberos doesn't work. <laughs> it kind of works, I guess. But... Okay, let's go ahead and try last time before I uh, head to bed. Let me try this one more time here. He doesn't have the permissions. What? Okay, I suppose I don't have the permissions anymore to run that. Don't know why. Let's see if he has the permissions now for some reason. Invoke Roses. Yeah, that's what I'm calling for you first. That's why you're supposed to. Where's my period go? Nope. Remember, we can't call back to ourselves. So we can't talk to ourselves like right now. We have to go through this other machine. The machine won't allow us to talk to anybody else. Remember? All right, while this is running, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a five-minute break. Maybe he's not coming back. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we'll go from there. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, damn, we got a bunch of stuff happening over on YouTube. Hey, thank you very much, YouTube. I know I have not looked in a while. Live is in 144p. Do you have a roadmap for ethical hacking? You teach me from the start. Um, not really. Chakodar? Chak Raider? Not really. Um, it's like, try hack me. Okay, cool. So this actually works like right here, huh? Supposedly this is in the hash cap format, which I'm going to go with. It's 100% not. Uh, well, now we do have the dollar sign 23. So that actually is a little bigger of a deal like right there. Let's go ahead and grab this like right here. We'll grab both of these guys. We'll see what we can do with it. Yeah, because we do have that dollar sign 23 now. So that actually is much better than what it was before. Cool, 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 cool. All right, that's what I like to see. Whoops. Whoops. Do I spot? I do have Afghanistan before. Say it was from Afghanistan. One well, of the guys over on YouTube. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and try this like right here. Go ahead and see if at least it's in the right format. If it is, then we'll go ahead and we'll throw the other one in there. We'll go from there. Nope, of course it isn't. Oh, it's also in KRB, isn't it? Wasn't it in KRB? I keep saying and calling for hash.txt, but isn't it in KRB.txt? Let's freaking go! Yeah, we can also remove new lines with just a said, but I don't trust it. So, I'd rather just do it by hand unless it fits, you know, 100 people. Okay, so are we exhausted? Okay, so we exhausted that one. That's all right. Let's go ahead and try this Pooh Internet one like right here. 
Yeah, I just don't trust it, that's all. Watch, we can remove all white space with the sed command like right here. Don't even need rejects. So just be able to use that. And we'll save that over here. And then we'll go ahead and we will run a uh, quick uh, cat. Um, what's it called? KRB. That guy right there. All right. That didn't really remove it all, but that's okay. Into uh, hash.txt. We'll go ahead and we'll hop over into hash.txt. But yeah, I don't really trust it like right now. Okay, now the next problem is that it actually, yeah, I would much rather. I know this isn't really the fastest way in the world or the most efficient way. I also know that, um, what is it, Hack the Box Academy actually gives you like a nice little way to run this, like a little script to run. So you can um, do it all. What the hell? That's just super weird at the bottom there. We're going to try it though. See if it takes it. All right, let's freaking go. Cool. So hopefully we get a password here. And this password would be for, let's see here, PooHR. And it's exhausted. So now those two actually gave me a password. So now I really don't know what the hell it wants from me. Now I really do not know at all what it actually wants. Um, so we're probably going to head to bed here in a minute then. Because we are not getting anywhere with this thing right here, huh? Let's see here. Everything else has been weird in this guy so far, right? What's that dumbass keyboard one? This one, keyboard combinations. This stupid ass one like right here. Probably should have cut them both in there though, huh? Ooh, is it still in KRB? Not text? No. Probably should have kept them both in there if I was going to do that, huh? So we'll go ahead and we'll actually grab Poo HR and Poo Admin. Kind of want to break Poo Admin in all honesty. That's who I want to get, you know what I'm saying? But no, we don't give up. We'll try it again. Like tomorrow or something like that. We never give up. Come on now. Have you ever seen me give up, give up? I don't know for a fact you guys have never seen that one, like right there. Me like actually like give up, give up. God damn it. I didn't want to do that. There we go. That was a little bit faster, right? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and try that, like right there. Keyboard combinations. I've seen that one before being used. Okay, let's go ahead and try this. That was pretty quick. Hey, we got one. Who's that for? Poo Admin. All right, cool. We got one for Poo Admin. All right, cool. So we got somebody now, right? At least we have someone now. All right, so we have someone. Um, let's go ahead and try. Um, so we now have poo admin, right? So now what we want to do is, I think what we want to do is pretty much a um, something like, because we seem to be having a problem writing sharp pound, right? We have a big problem with that. But we can run Bloodhound by hand, right? So 
That's going to take a minute, though. I'll tell you that much right now. How's it go? Poo P00, because he's too cool to actually use letters, huh? Guy's way too cool. And so user pass dot text. All right, cool. So we got somewhere, right? Um, yeah, that's because my kids are sleeping. That's why. So I don't talk very loudly into the uh, microphone. Okay. So we technically can run Bloodhound by hand. Now it's going to be a little bit of pain, but we can try it. Um, let me see here. Should be over in my notes somewhere. Search for Bloodhound. Bloodhound by hand. Okay, so I do need Power View. Okay, so we're going to have to get Power View on here first, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, can I just do, can I log in with that person? Poo admin? And can I use that password? Whoops. I also may want to get the administrator's stuff in there too, just so, in case we do stop. Okay, so we cannot log in with Pooh Admin like right there. Um, what I want to do is I want to upload Power View into here. Home, Cali, Tools. Um, there we go. We'll try to get Power View into here, then we'll go from there and see if we can get anywhere else with this thing. Uh, it's just about 10.30. I got about four minutes left. All right, peer, peer, slash. Can I just actually import from over here? Okay, cat, scripts, AMSI bypass. Go ahead and we'll grab this one right here. Okay, so that should. Uh, well, we used our built in one from that. I know always works. There we go. I don't trust anything. <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and we will um, use our Bloodhound by hand. So we can go ahead and use, but we're not going to do that guy right there. We're going to do um, poo, poo admin, right? Okay, cool. So we convert that to SID. What does it do? It's user on user wants to do that for whatever user. Okay. There we go. There we go. This one's never failed me. Hasn't failed me yet, so I just keep uh, sticking with it. Never failed. <laughs> but I didn't know it had its own built-in bypass. That's pretty cool. Now, this is going to take a while. So we're going to go ahead and go with commercial break, and we will be back. And hopefully by the time we get back, it's already done. If not, I do promise. I do. What's up, New Zealand? How you doing? Well, you said you're from Afghanistan 10 minutes ago. Now you said you're from New Zealand. I feel like you're probably from Florida. 
All right, let's go ahead and start off a commercial, and then uh, I will be like right back. No, I won't because I broke in it. Didn't like that, did it? Mr. Worldwide. Um, retrieving forest. Uh, of course it was because it can't get to that, can it? So for some reason, we can't run Sharp Hound. So we're not able to run Sharp Hound. We're not able to save this guy anywhere. Can't do shit on this thing, can we? Like, what can we do then? I really feel like we need Sharp Hound to actually run. I feel like that's continuing to be our problem, like right there. Is that Sharp Hound's not running. Try again. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and take a break. We'll see if this actually runs or not. Just only have a couple minutes left.
All right, we're still getting that error on Bloodhound, huh? I was watching it. I was in my uh, so I was standing outside. So we're still getting that error. Okay. Uh, we can figure this out. Or sharp on whatever. Uh, anybody got any ideas? <laughs> um, <clears throat> can we use no, nope, because when I'm Hold up. Hey. What are the modules for this one? No, how the heck do you get a module? I forgot. No. Or list the modules or whatever for something. Options tag L. There we go. It's a good module, like right there. Can't we do Bloodhound through WinRM? Could have swore that we can. Actually, I think I actually have it. You know, like where I have it at? Is it my crack everything? I have Bloodhound in there. Now let's just tack out to look at modules um, to list them all. Then you can do with that thing. It just doesn't have it in there for, for some reason. Um, okay. One second. Go into here. Bloodhound. Not that one. Let's Bloodhound with a hash. Let's run Bloodhound Python. Of course it is. So it's not running crap map exact Bloodhound now, is it? Um, of course you're not. It's now featured in Hats, Bloodhouse, Sport, and Alley for doing it. Also, for computer accounts are owned. Zephyr. Could have swore you could just do attack on Bloodhound. Let's go ahead and try it. What are, um, we're going to do it on that target, right? You can do it through LDAT. That's what you can do it through. Yep, that's not going to work, though. SMB is also not going to work. Neither of those two are going to work, like right there. All right, cool. So that's not going to work either. Um, we just need to figure out how the hell to get, I feel like Bloodhound on here. Uh, let's try this like right here. Uh, let's see here. Zach D. Fuck is the host name for this guy anyways. Sure, why not? What's your host name? Well, we own it with Administrator. It's owned. It's pawned. The problem is that we can't do LDAP or SMB. We have to use, um, what's it called? We have to use WinRM. Or something like that. That's going to take forever. Let's 
so Is that gonna exist anymore or something? No, it doesn't matter. That won't matter at all. Um, all right, we need to figure out how to use poo admins credentials. On the domain controller itself, right? So let's go and see what the hell the domain controller is called. Let's go and ping this guy. Ping him. All right, whatever. I think it's just broken again. Nope, it's not broken again. That's good. Okay. So, what the fuck's your name, though? Do we already have... I'm sure we have power view on here, right? I worked out a great force like right there. Um, okay. There we go. There's that, right? Okay, so we got power view. Okay. Um, now... We should be able to do like a get that domain tour. I don't know if it's get that though. It might just be get domain tour. We should also be able to see the name whenever we pinged it too though. Which is kind of weird. Does that work? Alright, cool. There we go. DC internet .poo. Okay. So we have the domain tour's name now, right? So I think what we might be able to do is do a user equals uh, poo admin, right? That's what we want, like right there, right? Um, I think. Let's see here. I don't know if this is actually going to work. Mother. Fuck, dude, really? Okay, there we go. Let's say I was like, what? Pass equals. Okay, you should pass that text. Pass equals this. Okay. Now. That's equals, um, convert to secure string, right? Should be convert to secure string. Um, as plain text. So we want to do a convert to secure string as plain text. Let's write out PowerShell. Uh, then we want to do dollar sign pass. Force. We'll go ahead and grab that from there over to here. S equals that. Probably should have put it actually in quotations. Oh no, it's okay. Okay, cool. Um, and then lastly, our cred is going to equal new object. Right. So 
our code will be new object uh, system dot management dot oh god uh, system management um, automation dot one second I sort of bang coming from the kids room I'll be right back one second Lavender thank you very much for the sub okay so we should have a secure secure string uh, PS credentials right Okay, new object, boom, boom, boom. Throw that in there. Whoops, didn't want to do that just yet. <laughs> want to do like a cred equals. Okay, cool, didn't do it. Cred equals PS credential. What we're going to try to do, we're pretty much going to try to get into a pool admin over here. Um, and then we got to put in our argument list, right? For um, argument list and then we don't need that passing mark because we already doing that s so it should be dollar sign user and then s dollar sign user dollar sign s okay cool there we go okay so now we have all that so now what i think we can do is do maybe like a get net user get net user um, and then going to the domain controller, right? Zach, domain controller, it's going to be DC, and then tack um, credentials, right? It's going to be dollar sign cred. So we want to see if we can do this. Of course not, but will we, right? Huh. Of crowd equals new object pool. Uh, get that user to main potential. The specified string parameters empty parameter name name. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So we did actually get something back. Okay, so we can run commands on domain controller. So that's good for us, right? Um, now we just need to start to... Okay, if we can run commands on domain controller. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get sharp on there now. On domain controller itself and run it like that. Um, I'm wondering if we can run commands on it. I'm wondering if we can actually create a new session. We can say sess equals new session tag IP, I think it is. DC, is that it? No. New PS session, that's why. Uh, attack, I forgot what it is. Okay, Tessie, computer name. I don't know if this is actually going to work or not, because this is probably going to, but it's not going to allow me to do it. Yeah, okay. Tack credential. Credential is going to be dollar sign user and S. See if that works. It's going to ask for my password. And I can't do that on WinRM, huh? I'm not gonna be able to do it like right there on WinRM. Oh man. There's username. Can I also put in password? Uh 
I think they actually made it so you can't put in password, and that was for a reason, like right there. Okay, that ain't gonna work, I don't think. He's probably asking me like right now, like, what's the password? Hmm. Okay. Try one last thing here. Now the problem is they can only put a username for credentials. That's what the problem is. Gonna happen. I think we all saw that one coming. Oh, we need all of these, huh? Cool admin. Cool. Who else we got? Cyber audit, which we already saw them right. Pool HR. K admin. KRB TGT. Mercs. He's an administrator. Okay. Good news for us, like right there, but we can't really do much with that. What's up, producer Wolf? How you doing? Okay. Um, I don't really have much longer on here. Let's see here. Um, we really need to see what the hell Poo Admin can do. Don't we? We really need to see what the fuck they can do. How are we gonna get Bloodhound on this thing? Or Sharp Hound? Okay, she was trying Sharp Hound. Then we need to hope, even if we get that out of there. Then we get to do the whole. Let's see if it actually uh, is the right version. Sharpon.ps1. Let's go and grab this. We'll try to upload that to here. To C drive. We'll try to import that module and see if that one works.
feel like we definitely need to run from over here too. See if I if I do an import module sharp pound dot ps1 over here, it'll import it, but it's not gonna be able to run it, huh? Sharp pound. Was it is it invoke sharp pound? Anyone know? Let's go ahead and cat this guy. All right, so it's still invoke bloodhound. Okay, so invoke invoke bloodhound. There's only a little bloodhound attack collection method all. That should have executed it like right there. That's not even trying, is it? That's not even trying, like right there. That's not even trying, it can't do it. Yeah. I'm kind of confused about why it's not able to do it over here though. You know what I'm saying? That's a good idea. We could do that like right there. Let me go ahead and grab that like real quick. Hey, what's up, Soy Eater? How you doing? What's up, Squids? How you doing? All right. Uh, well, Lavender set up was um, running the find interesting uh, domain ACLs. Which is pretty much what we try to do with Bloodhound by hand. But we weren't able to do it for... Actually, I have a sitting right there. That's the funny part. But instead of equaling the SID, we just equaled that to Poo Admin. But, so that's pretty much... That's pretty much what... This is the... Yep. That's kind of what I thought was going to happen. Because this one, like right here, is the... Power view version of this. So, you know. No, I don't want to be there. Where am I in? End games. Okay. Um, this over here is not working. That's, that's it just doesn't work, I guess, anymore. I mean, I'm out of ideas. 
I have no idea. I think we are out of ideas. Okay, um, let's go and try this thing right here. not going to be able to do anything because there's nothing to actually attack. You know? So this won't even be able to do anything right here. If I can do that, because now I should be going to the IPv6. Invoke all checks, though. That's not good. I mean, we're already administrator. That's just for local machine to get to administrator. about this time. Let's see what happens here. So DS store, we did all that stuff. Okay, we did all that, we did that, we got a foothold, we did that, we did that. Given this active directory where I'm looking to pivot, I want to run Bloodhound. I've uploaded use I upload it using WinRM access, but I need to run it from a domain account. Luckily I have code execution as a service account in MSSQL, which are domain accounts, yes. So I can run it from there, supposedly. <laughs> okay. Um, beyond root about the extra long route I took to get a shell, one thing I did was use a Python script that connects to MSSQL and simulates an interactive shell. That shell will show up here when I run things from here. I'll run sharp hound from MSSQL. So we did that because we ran it with, so he's having zero problems with it. <laughs> Fucking sweet. So pretty much, no. Oh my god. You know why it's not working? Do you want to know why? Because I'm not running sharp hound. But then I, I couldn't do it here. What? Okay. One second, can I get a...
There's nowhere to actually get a fucking... Where do you get a domain account from? That's my question. Because we can run it with our one crazy command that we were running before, right? From this guy over here, right? We could run it with that stuff, right? So we could definitely run it with all those crazy ass commands that we had before, right? Who are those at? Okay. So this guy Who am I? We can't find who am I. The fuck? Oh, now what's wrong with it? <laughs> because we didn't run commands like that. That's why. Let's go ahead and look at this Python script. Because we didn't run commands such as those. Actually, long raw took. Okay, let's go ahead and read this beyond root. Like right here. The only other change I made was to the prompt. The original shell will print. There's more text than I want, especially if you go into a blog post where the commands will flow off the screen, so I updated it. Now I can run it and it connects. Okay. I won't have to control C to kill it. It sees this NT service. Okay, he runs the juice potato, we get to administrator. Shows the flag, okay, I'll create a bat file. Administrator shell. Okay, then how the hell did you run Bloodhound. That's what I'm not understanding. So he just ran it, it looks like. He just fucking ran the thing. And it worked just fine. Oh, does the lab still work? Can you still do that in this lab? A dollar foul. Because he just runs it, and that's from his little thing that he made, but that thing's not some hardcore, you know what I'm saying? Those, I mean, that's not really hardcore. <laughs> so, Yeah, nothing, nothing cool happened like right there. So, pretty much you just can't fucking run it. <laughs> That's what I'm coming to learn. Okay, so what what happens? So he runs Bloodhound, right? Then what? Because if we, I mean, it looks like we just can't run this shit. Oh, honestly, runs it Volker. We already did that. Generic all. So someone has generic all privs over somebody else. So 
So he's made Pooh Admin a domain admin. That's all he did. So he had generic all privs over it. And we couldn't see the privs, nor could we upload Bloodhound. Yep. Works on my machine. Okay, let's go ahead and look at what this guy did. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> let's go and see what Snowscan did. So these are actually external user. We can actually command this internal user on the other database. Pool config. The following blog has interest to exploit trust and link servers. Okay, select so star from master to servers. Okay, so we got that. All right. Okay, select so star from open query. Select that. Let's double check manually what power up SQL has given us regarding internal user. Check that system add. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have system add in our pool config. Now, if we use open query from PookFit back to Pook Public, we get interesting results. That's where we get our system admin. Okay, we found a flag in there. MSSQL or CE. Okay, per se, that thing that we did, XQ, XQ, XQ master, add several boo add sys admin. Okay, uh, get SQL query instance, room query, XP command shell, who am I? Okay. The way it's just admin access the database where you have a limited OS with an empty service, okay? We don't have outbound IPv4, connectivity, general failure, okay? So now he's going to go in through IPv6, it looks like. He runs the import OS system. What if we could do that and run it like that? What do you think? We do that one again. Okay. Uses Mimikatz. The MSSQL with XP command shell, we can use PowerView to poke around DC. Okay, do you actually have the command for that, or no? Is that must be out of my mind thinking that, huh? Yeah, just you can just use it, huh? Yeah, I'm out of my mind thinking that you're actually gonna get the command for everything else. <laughs> we can copy Bloodhound files to our local computer using WinRM. How would you get the Bloodhound files on? <laughs> Some of these fucking walkthroughs are like the greatest thing. They really are. It's like, yeah, then you can, uh, you can do something. It's like, oh, oh okay. Does he actually go through the whole thing? <laughs> like, if you do this, and then you just do that, then it'll work. Like, oh, do, do what? You know, the command. What command? You know, that command. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's go and watch this. We'll see if this guy gets anywhere. Well, he's going to get, I mean, it's ball map. He's going to get somewhere, obviously. You probably hacked it in six minutes. Okay, let's go ahead and see what this is all about, like right here. So that was that part. How'd you get, okay. Let's slow down like a little bit here. All right, I speak command shell, C temp, Sharpon.exe slash taxi all. All right, so yeah, exactly what we did. Um, that does not work anymore. So pretty much every single person did this like right here. So I'm going to go with we can't do this anymore. Uh, let's go ahead and see what privileges we get so we can at least get to administrator. But it looks like you can't do that anymore. Um, I mean, every single person did say that thing that we just did. So, another guy, he just loaded up Bloodhound, though. He just did it. 
Oh yeah, we had generic all, correct? That's what the thing was, right? We have generic all privs. So let's go ahead and head back over into here. All right. Let's go ahead and CD into... See, where is he actually at? Like right here? I want to see something real quick. See program data? To see if it is actually downloading. What we could also do is try to find it. Right? Yeah, nothing in there. Okay, what we could also do is try to find sharp.zip, right? So we could do something like a, um, let's see here. Go back to here. Let me go down to Windows. I forget where I actually have it at. Creating service account. Finding passwords. Could always do something like this, but we're actually just going to say include. So we're just going to do a from the C drive, right? We're not going to put all this in. We're just going to say sadly continue. And then we're just going to say tack name. So the password is going to be like right there. We are going to do a recurse. It's not going to be a file. Well, we, I think we say actually tack file. We say um, include sharp.zip and see if it finds it anywhere. See if it is actually downloading something or doing something. We're just getting an error on everything else or how it's actually working like right there. But other than that, <clears throat> God, I, should, I was supposed to be off an hour ago. All right. Um, so we have that right. So let's go ahead and do a, where's my Bloodhound stuff at? We had generic all right over a machine it looked like. No, it wasn't over PowerC either. Generic all utilizes PowerShell. I believe it's going to be all this like right here. Oh, that's for Kerberos, everything like that. Generic right. For a group, is that what it was? I don't remember what the generic all was over. That's the problem now. <laughs> Uh, if we have generic all, then we should be good. But yep, there's no, there's nothing in there, and this does continue to fail. So that's exciting. That's good stuff. All right, cool. Um, so let's just go ahead and do our generic all then. Uh, do I still have all those commands in here? Yes, I do. Cool. All right. Uh, because what we can do from here for generic all is we can just take our password, convert to a secure string, which we already have. We can use our credentials that we already have, but this time it's actually going to be a little bit different, I believe. Okay. PS new creds. Okay. PS credentials. All right. And then we just want to make it for um, intranet, right? PS credential. I think we still want the argument list in there. Uh, actually, we may not. Maybe something like this. Let's go ahead and check out my notes. No. No. Yeah, okay. So we want our domain in there, right? So we want our um, domain of uh, internet.poo, right? Internet.poo, okay, and then from here we can do our slash p00 underscore admin, okay. Um, and then from here, I believe we can do a we need to put our password in there still, which that's already part of this. We just do a dollar sign, uh, come kind of dollar sign pass. I think that should work right there. Huh? Did not like that. Do I have to put a space in there? Oh, was it S? Yeah, I did. I made it S, huh? I forgot about that. Thank you. Yep, dollar sign S. Thank you. I forgot. I was like, what the heck? And now we can go ahead and add us to the domain average group. Domain. Um, 
Uh, no, we don't want Rubius. Don't care about that. Add. No. No. No again. Um, is it add to bane group member? Add to bane group member, and then uh, the group member. Let's see, domain admins it should be admins, not admin, and that who we are with along with the credentials members. Dollar sign crud. Damn it. Prayer can find that matches the name credentials. Is it just credential? Because if that works, then from here, we should just be able to just check it with the net use. We'll see what happens. Or you just get stuck, either one. <laughs> okay, for real now, I have like six minutes. Jesus. What do we, uh, what we got going on here? This guy, we're just adding a domain group member. That's all we're doing. There we go. Okay. So we did not get an error. It just took um, a year and a half. DIR. Okay. Uh, DC.poo.intranet. Is it again? Intranet.poo. Intranet.pu C dollar sign. Um, but then I have to also put in my credentials, right? So from here, I should have to do a um, you, um, my poo admin guy, right? Poo admin. And then lastly, I should have to put in my, uh, my, my password like afterwards, right? Cat, uh, user pass that text. Hmm. Um, I feel like I should have to put in my password afterwards, right? It's because I did a DIR, not that use. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, so we should be able to do a type and then do something with that, right? So we should be able, we should be able to do a DIR. Okay. Oh, maybe. Okay. No, no. That's correct because I already did my net use on it, right? So now since I did my net use, I now have a, um, what's it called? A ticket, right? So we're good on that. Slash users. Slash administrator. Desktop. Okay, nothing there. What about the one that, the other guy that we saw? Slash 
There it is. Okay, cool. All right, well, we got to get a little bit of help there. Um, seemed like the sharp pound wasn't working anymore. But other than that, this will be it. This should be the last thing right here. I get a little bit of help. That's okay. Everybody needs a little bit of help, right? Um, and, uh, yeah, that'll be it. Cool. Well, that was a pretty cool machine. A lot of MSSQL stuff in there. I mean, it's kind of, it was, it was pretty good. I don't know if I see it was beautiful lavenders because, uh, you know, we did have, like I said, a few problems in there, especially at the end there. Let's go ahead and raid, uh, Miss Pixie. She does some pretty good, uh, coding stuff. So go ahead and we'll raid her. And uh, that's going to be it for tonight. Like I said, I got to go to bed. I got to get up early tomorrow and do stuff all day. So, this up to his day. <laughs> 100%. Lavender, thank you very much for the um, for the subscription. Let's see here. Um, let's see here. Whiskle, thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, everyone on YouTube, thank you very much. I know I haven't been talking to you guys the whole time because I've been having to click back and forth stuff like that. But... Go hack real website. All right, I'll let you go do that and tell me know how it works for you, especially since you typed in it like that, because that's probably not going to really work out very well for you. Drag it off. You have a good one. MSC, you have a good one. Um, let's see here. Who else? Stead. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Have a good one. Uh, I need more caffeine. Thank you much for coming by. Um, yeah. And the anonymous gifter, as always, which I think it might be Thed now. Uh, thank you very much for the uh, subscription. So you have a good one. I'll talk to you all later. Uh, probably not going to be on tomorrow, but I'll be on probably over the weekend or something like that. So you have a good one. I'll talk to you all later.